Okay, let's talk about who's and what's. Okay, and who's and what's come in when uh, we're talking about things like tasks, events, things that are under the umbrella of activities. And this also comes in when you're thinking about adding custom objects to Salesforce. So you want to think, am I adding a who or a what? Well, guess what? You're always adding a what because in Salesforce, you can't add a custom who. So what does this all mean? A who is an object in Salesforce that represents a human being, basically. It's a person. A contact is a who. A user is a who. A lead is also a who, actually. So you have these who's, and what does a who mean? A who means it's something that you can relate uh, to things like a task. If you're familiar with the back end of Salesforce, you'll know it's the who ID. Um, in the user interface, you might see this as the name. So when you add a task to um, a record, you might see name and related to. The name is the who, the related to is the what. Um, with uh, some features turned on, you can actually add many who's to a task. So you can actually have a, related, a set of related who's. So if you were on a conference call and you wanted to state all the people who were there on that call, maybe there's five people, you can all add all of them as who's on that call. You can only, however, add a single what. Uh, that what might be an opportunity. It could be an account. It could be a case. Uh, it could be any of your custom objects, actually. Um, but it, there can only be one per task. And um, if you go into the ideas section of Salesforce, you'll see there's lots of people who would love to add more than one what to a task or an event. I'm one of those people. Uh, one of the reasons that you can't, though, is basically because of the sharing model. Uh, tasks and events, they typically, they're going to inherit their access and sharing uh, based on um, their parent records, in this case, the what's. And when you have multiple what's, that can get really complicated. So I'm, I don't know how far Salesforce has gone to work on this, um, but we do know that this is something that lots of people would like to have, me being one of them. So let's state briefly what is a who and what is a what. The who, these are leads, contacts, and oftentimes users. Even though these are setup objects, these can also be, in many cases, thought of as a who. Um, but mostly, we're talking about leads and contacts. Now, a what object is everything else. <laughs> so all of your custom objects, these are all what's. Every custom object you make is a what. You actually cannot create a custom who object. It might, in some situations, it might be pretty cool if you could. Um, in some cases, we want to create these who objects, or let's not say we want to. We, I've seen circumstances where who type objects have been attempted to be implemented. A, um, a person object, a doctor object, a member object, and in these objects I'll see uh, classic kind of best practices mistakes like you know first name, last name, email, they're basically reconstructing a contact. You also don't get the other benefits of these who capabilities if you're going to create your own object. Like being able to add many of them to a task or an event, um, being able to use a lot of the email functionality. Quick definition on these objects here, we have a lead, which represents an individual at a company, right? A lead is kind of this uh, flat file, right? It's like a business card, um, and it's not very relational. It's just an individual person at a company. But we still treat that as a who because we need the person part of it. Uh, so when we create a task or an event or, or add uh, somebody to a campaign, let's say, we can add leads. Contact, same thing. A contact is always represents a person in the more of the um, complete relational setup. A contact belongs to an account. Um, you can have many contacts per account. These represent individual people. And this is where you want to store all your people, really. You know, outside of your leads, which is kind of your big dumping ground, data collection dumping ground, everything else that represents a person should be a contact. If you want to separate your contacts into different types, you can do that with record types. But remember, these are the only uh, objects that Salesforce uh, will know are people. Stop and think about 
the fact that you can only create what objects in Salesforce. Salesforce is the only one who's allowed to create who's. Those are these three right here, mainly leads and contacts. Um, so really think about that before you go ahead and create some other type of person because they won't get the same status in Salesforce that you want them to get and that could affect your big picture implementation and automation down the line. Like, share, and subscribe if you like what you see and leave your feedback. I want to improve this stuff. Let me know what you think.